Welcome to another speed run, and today you might realize something a little bit different is that there actually is no none of my actual commentary or that there actually really isn't any face cam or cam in general. Why? Because this game, um, this is a very long session I was just going for speedrunning it, and it was very frustrating because the controls are kind of like delayed. And yes, so, just because of the recording software, I'm not sure what it is about the OBS or something. I think it's just PS4, because that's the only system I've encountered it in, but as you see, that every time I get hit or invincibility, you just can't even see it. Which is fine, I guess. It doesn't really make much of a difference. This was played on the PS4 and the Neo Geo collection here, but I guess I'll explain the, explain the game. Quickly, I think the time's a second off or something. I'll, have to, I'll just retime it for the actual title of the video. And because these splits at the very end are messed up. Because I actually forgot to do one split. So, this is Blue's Journey, also known as Rag Raguyu. Raguyu or Ragu. I don't know how you pronounce it in Japanese. But they, it gives you both versions. I prefer to use the English version. I don't know. I'm not sure. I'm, I think the Japanese version might save like a second or something from text, but. I really just prefer the English version. Yep, yeah, so basically you're just like a bug person and you gotta in your attack is you have a leaf. You can also get different weapons like a bomb and a like a saw. And yeah, you just gotta hit people and then you pick them up and throw them. Then your third button, besides jump and attack, is you can shrink down you can attack while shrunk. But you can pick up enemies that are already knocked down and throw them while shrunk, and you move faster. So I try to use that. And yes, I do die during this run because it's obviously games. I think I think that if you go by slow, it's easy. But obviously, I don't try to go super slow. I try to speed past things, especially with level one. I see we did that in pretty good time. So the lava here moves at. I believe it's just random where it goes, where it shoots out. So that's a little annoying. So what I'll be doing a lot of times is I'll be in small form because I move faster. Then I'll, I'll be jumping. So you actually slip off there. I swear I jumped, but, uh, you know, a little delay. So yeah, um, what I'll be doing is I'll usually be in small form, then I'll jump, turn to big form, attack, then shrink again. And to do that, I could try and go on my controller. So I usually just claw grip through, through the whole game. So, so the checkpoint system in this game is very strange. I don't know how it works. Because I see, I find it to be random. Sometimes it puts me, it puts me in a good spot. Sometimes it doesn't. But as you can see, yes, there was a hundred resets. So there was, <laughs> was about a hundred tries. And yes, obviously the uh, splits are delayed. Obviously, it's like a second. So yeah, I did lose time there because I died. Obviously, and it sent me back pretty far. Because sometimes this level here, um, if you actually see what I do here, I just kill myself. So, okay, I want two hearts. I, I didn't need to, I guess, because I actually don't get hit during this level. During this level. The music's not terrible. It's not very good. The controls are swimming are really awkward. You have to like, keep mashing the button, jump out to move, but it's just it's, it's awkward. They're not very fluent at all. So that was pretty lucky, because generally lots of times I get get hit because the whatever that lizard guy he shoots fire and it touches the very top of the water and, and your attack is super slow in the water and there was a glitch that I encountered here hopefully I'll put it in the beginning of this speed run here where I actually clip through the ground and die so you know who knows maybe yes and this run definitely can be improved the task for this game was something like nine minutes. It wasn't even ten minutes. So obviously things could have been improved. But whatever. If, if, if someone wants to come and try to grind this game out, they can they can have it. I just wanted to This is this is not a game that I feel like I have to really try to defend because I don't care. Because I really don't like this game that much. Anyways. Um those blocks come in random. But you know, they're not too bad because they're kind of lenient with the clipping in this game on platforms. You can kind of just clip in sometimes. 
You don't have to. You don't have to exactly be there, on, like on the exact pixel. But that was a gold split. So yeah, there's spider webs, which is annoying. I try to wait them out, but I get hit by that. And if you're wondering what that noise is, hitting L1 just adds coins to it, so you can continue infinitely. It doesn't really take away from a speedrun, you just get infinite continues, it doesn't make much of a difference. So would I recommend this game? Probably not. I probably wouldn't. This boss is pretty easy. Easy stuff. That's just a bonus level, it's optional if you want to take it or not. Those enemies, those red guys with the fucking balls, those are really annoying. If he hit it hit detection, I thought I landed on top of him. Yeah, kind of weird how it puts me outside of the of the checkpoint. Like a checkpoint, you know, you think it'd just be on the next screen. No, it's right before the next screen. Those little wizard, wizard guys. It's kind of random. Did you see that was like a little, I kind of clipped into that platform there? And yeah, you can also like change, you can look like more from small to big in midair, and you kind of freeze for a little bit, so you can get a little bit more air time. And I think I'll use that later on. There's a one like really annoying enemies, I need to find, I don't know how you get through those webs. It's like, yeah, I, I uh, transform way too, way too late. And yeah, and like lots of times it'll put you like the, it will uh, where, you, where it respawns you. It will put you really close to the ledge, so you gotta be careful. Like, yeah, I, I, I jumped. I swear, I swear I did. Like, I swear. Kinda weird how it just changes completely. I wasn't sure how angry I was at this point. I was probably pretty angry. Like, yeah, I think I was mad. <laughs> like, I, 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 I look, look, look at that. And then I used the invincibility to just clip through that. Obviously, I wasted time. And this part, um, I just try to take the, try to try to wait. Out. There's a bomb there, but I really don't like the bomb because it's very slow. So I'll take the hit, whatever. But then just kind of breeze through this. Obviously, I wasted four and four point six seconds, which is like whatever, honestly. I don't know even know what to call this, but so I just called it a parfait because kind of looked like one. The graphics are pretty, they're actually pretty nice. Um, like I wouldn't think of this game on Super Nintendo, but this seems like a game that would fit perfectly on Genesis. I don't know why. Obviously, because like, the, the music's not that good, so that's why it's Genesis music. But, you know, um, it was on Neo Geo and Neo Geo CD. I know. I'm not sure if the Neo Geo CD one came out in North America. I know it was out in Japan, but I know the AES cartridge was in North America, and I think that is the only home console. I didn't actually hear research or check or anything, I, but that's what I know. This game's not very popular anyways. SNK, SNK didn't make many platformers, and if they really, and if you want to count Metal Slug, then obviously yeah, that's the big one. Obviously yeah, so I missed the time my leaf throw there. As you can see there, I kind of clipped into the snow there. How the platform's not really finished, which is nice. Uh, they may like that's not very hard to do. So you know, this split is where the most time can be saved. Obviously, as you just check, it's like a pretty, it's like, that much, that's almost three minutes. 
like two and a half minute split like okay why is this level so long it's not really because you kind of need a weapon but i don't grab one i think i fear where the bomb was we're trying to hold on to it and everything it just makes it really really hard to hold on to it and you're probably in like you're gonna take a hit most likely like the, the task uses the bomb you just kind of hit them so you see like a minute and a half like a minute so it's all random so that's what you want to do see i missed my first shot and if i landed that i would have saved definitely a couple of good seconds he actually, he actually did give me, yeah, you want to hit like all of them and then pick them up one at a time, not double, because as far as I know, so I actually missed uh, resetting him. So when he sneezes, that can go on forever. It can actually go like, he can do it eight times in a row if he wanted to. So I think right now, like, yeah, it already would have been over, I believe. Am I correct? Yeah, look, look much time it would have saved. I've had a him go fly. I think he's actually done it once like 10 times in a row. See, look, look how much time I would have saved. Well, honestly, maybe 20 seconds. 18 seconds. It's quite a big save. But that, that was really the most annoying part, I thought, of the run. It was like the second area. And now why is it called Durgesh? I don't know, just because the guy looks like his name would be Durgesh. So if you say yes to that, you, you had a little cutscene which wastes like, I don't know how many seconds, but that's what I did the first time. It's pretty, it, it looks really hard at first, like, like how are you going to dodge this guy's moves? And then I got, I, then I got, like, a, uh, I, I got a very uh, last hit on him, which I didn't know I can do. Yeah, lasers. Respawns you right back right here. At this part of the day, I think this was my second time even getting this far. Because most of my runs ended like in the first or second seconds. So, okay, I gotta play careful here. I remember what all this is. For the most part. Then I was here, look. What I do here, I. So I guess like when you do that, like the platform still move around you and then it just clips me out of them, which is like fucking awesome. So I actually missed that. And look at that, see? Uh bouncing on someone's head like it stuns them, then when you jump off it sends them spinning. And if you actually looked right there when I shrunk down, I almost clipped through the platform again. Which would have been very unfortunate. I get hit by him, you know, whatever. See, so I, I lose 20 seconds on that stage because, like, I, I was rusty. Like, not surprising at all. Now, this split obviously doesn't take almost 4 minutes. Because those blocks, and the pattern they come in, it can sometimes, like, prevent you from even, like, getting on there. And it's, uh, in this run, it doesn't know, I don't demonstra demonstrate anything that's actually glitchy about them. But if you're stuck in, like, those L-shaped ones, as you see, and between that, it will actually just push you out completely, like, to the first end of the block. I also do fuck this up, which is a real shame, in a little bit. Because the checkpoint is at the very beginning of the stage, and also, like, right here. And, yeah, I got bad luck on that. Because they can spawn you back on that first platform. It's like, okay, let's put you right back here. And at the time, I didn't really, I didn't really realize how much time I actually spent in the original splits. So I, was thinking, I was like, okay, should I just fucking reset? I was like, no, nah, whatever. I'm almost done. Let's just finish it. And that was a... That right there. See, as I freeze it there, that's how I make the jump. If I didn't do it, I most likely swear to die. So. Definitely transforming your states is important. I don't even know what the fuck that thing is. So bad luck again on that. And then I play that I play this like super careful. I was, I was just afraid to even move on. Cause I was I was I was afraid if I didn't go, it would just let me right back to the beginning of the stage. You know, and I and I wouldn't have known. So we uh, that's a free spell by the way, if you don't know. 
dodge the laser there. Thank God I remember that the laser shot there. And obviously I saved a bunch of time. Could have saved a bunch more. But I didn't. It's called the Horrid Water Level, but I've gotten a lot better at it, so it's actually not very hard. And I spend a lot of time on here too. Which is just unnecessary. It's because I wasn't like good with the controls at first. But yeah, as you can as you can tell, they probably look awkward because they really are. Attacking is the toughest thing. It's like your attack is just so. It like floats up into the air, and then you can't use it, and you have to kind of hit these guys to make them shrink. But as you said, I just avoid them the first time entirely. And those things can actually hit you. See, so I actually got to shrink him down there. And I know there's this giant fucking whatever that is, a like claw that comes. I could not tell you how I dodged that. That lazy there. So grab the speed up, then you can just run right by them. Then there is a mini boss here, which is really easy. You kind of just want to stay on this side, because if you go to the other side, then he just completely like swaps. He just jumps to that side. He's gonna waste time there, because couldn't click jump on and grab the bottom because obviously the water was there. And there's a bomb pot up here, which I didn't grab the first time. I'm not sure if I it was because I lost it or I just didn't realize. But yeah, I try to squeeze through this little tight area there. And you really do want the bomb. Because you, you, you can lock him in place with the leap, but it's a lot harder to do because you can just do this. Just time your shots right. See, there was a split here, but I actually forgot to do it. So, that's my bad off. So just in Premiere, I'll just have to get the, the correct time. Because I never made it to the actual final boss with the bomb before. See, so now there, see I waste all this time by hitting the wrong things. So this is the cutscene, by the way. Do you believe it? Because I thought he said, I glad that because usually every time it says that, it's just uh, you just always hit no. But he says, "Are you resisting me?" And if you say yes, say yes, then the fights. But if you said no, so I messed up there. Yeah, so I don't like to use the bomb there. You just gotta grab that and pick him up. It's the same pattern every time. Hit it, then jump between the two saws. The saws will always go in the same spot. Then you gotta see. I didn't even know which option to pick there. So it's time, time, and there's time. There are multiple enemies in this game, which is kind of cool. If you, there's shops in the game, and if you go to the shop, there's like another guy you fight. There's like a guy there, like your arch rival or something. And then if you do that, then right here at the ending, he comes and declares his love for the girl. And then you have to fight him. And if you don't get enough points, then you don't marry her. And then I, but I print out I got enough points, so I marry her or whatever. I, I don't know. But that's Blue's Journey. Um, interesting thing about the category, it says any percent warpless. There is no speed run of this game. There's a task, and there was like a quick run of some guy doing it. I don't know what his name was, but it was some random quick guy just fucking did it. But pretty strange how that works. Um, I don't know what the warps are. <laughs> or why it says warpless. Because there's no actual speed run. But who knows. So I will see you guys next time.